the strange strong magnitude 4.4 earthquake hit east coast just about an hour ago of North America off Newfoundland 4.4 magnitude and it's only 1150 miles from the Azores that's where we had the 4.8 magnitude quake swarm yesterday and uh, we've just had a 4.7 yet again today we remember that that is a triple junction there the North American plate as you see there the uh, uh, mid-atlantic uh, ridge the North American plate the African plate and the Eurasian plate meet right there at the Azores islands they are volcanic islands they belong to Portugal they're only 1,000 some odd miles from there and we noticed that because of the big earthquakes in Europe, the 6.8 in Turkey with the quake swarms that are still going on, the ones closer to uh, Istanbul, and then Greece as well in the island of Karpathos. Then we had them around the area of Romania. We even had a 4.8. And uh, it seemed that the pressure was going towards the west. And then it hit here at the Azores, the 4.8 and the quake swarms, 4.7 today we'll see together. We said, what's going to happen to the East Coast? Will the East Coast be affected? Well, obviously, the tectonic plates were jolted, and this is where we got the earthquake today. So as you can see, basically it's going from east to west, the pressure, and that's where it hit, off Newfoundland. Let's take a look at it together. This is what I found on the Canadian map. It's not on the USGS map. Let's take a look at this together. Okay, here we are at Sizemore Berkeley. Let's take this off. You can see better. This is uh, today's map. Today's earthquake 4.7. And uh, if we take that off, you remember that we had the quake swarm here, 4.8 and more. But uh, this was again just today. The blue is this past day. And we've even had more quakes here, yet again, in the area of Turkey where we had the 6.8. And yet again here in Albania where we had another quake swarm. This is what we had yesterday. Well, yeah, a few hours before, uh, 4.8 in Romania out of nowhere. And um, even here, Croatia 3.3. They do take these pins off, unfortunately. Uh, but we, did, we we even had one in, uh, in this part of UK a couple of days ago. And we had a few here in the Atlas Mountains. So we said, oh, look, we see that we have a progression of earthquakes. Uh, and they're not small, not at all small. And they're going towards the west. And then we were hit here. And that's where I uploaded a video and we had the question left. Will that affect the... Uh, volcanic the volcanic uh, seamount here the east coast seamount there's 30 volcanoes here pointing towards maine will that affect the east coast well obviously it did and let's take a look at the canadian map right here here we are there we go okay 18 kilometers depth off uh, Newfoundland um, I don't know if we can no I don't think we can go aerial here um, okay can we I think we can. Oh. oh terrain okay wonderful I usually look at it like this here on the Canadian map um, as you can see if we extrapolate the uh, USGS uh, where we have a lot of activity you know a lot of people ask me doesn't Canada have earthquakes okay well they don't for some odd reason they don't plot the, the Canada earthquakes and we have to go to the Canadian map and if you extrapolate you see they do have a tremendous amount of activity and uh, one of the biggest earthquakes in the world happened here around Quebec uh, volcanoes uh, that had a VI-9 eruption about uh, a million years ago or so. Okay, so this is off the west, the uh, east coast. As we saw, 
Let's go to the terrain. That's not that's not even terrain. Satellite. Okay, there we go. Now we can have a better view of the Azores, which are right here. And you can very nicely see the crack. This is the edge of the tectonic, the North American plate. And this is the African plate, African plate. You can see that beautiful uh, crack right there, right there. That's the African plate pushing in, it's pushing in uh, north in order to close the Mediterranean Sea. And that's why we've had uh, the big earthquakes here around uh, Turkey, 6.8, and we're still having earthquakes. Uh, this is the beginning of the Euphrates River running down, and this is the Tigris River. This is where we had the earthquakes. We even had earthquakes around here, earthquakes here at Carpathos, earthquakes in Romania. Earth we had earthquakes in central Italy as well, but they took it off the map. And, uh, and we did have earthquakes in uh, Mor around Morocco. They took that off the map. And we saw that it, there was a westward progression, and we're still having them here. 4.8, 4.7, 4.5, you know, they're not small. These are volcanic islands, just like the Canary Islands. These are volcanic islands, the Azores, and they're on a triple, uh, the junction of a triple, the triple plates. And that's when we asked, will it affect the East Coast? And it did. And it affected it uh, in the area where the arc is going. As we said, let's take a look at this sea mount right here. There you go, you can see that very nicely. Wow, that is beautiful. That's, this, this is better than Google Earth. Google Earth, here is Google Earth. Okay, well, no, I shouldn't say that. This is very, this is, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I shouldn't have them competing with each other. Okay, so this, as you can see, 30 volcanoes, undersea volcanoes on the seamount, and that's Maine around there. Maine has five volcanoes, four of them are in a 100 mile distance. So this pressure goes that way, and uh, I thought it would be, have been here, well it struck here. Okay, and this is where we have our little pins, and this is about 1,150 miles from each other, and uh, whereas from Turkey, it was about three and a half thousand miles from Euphrates. From Azores to you, from Euphrates here to Azores is about three and a half, three thousand six hundred miles. That's why we said, hmm, the East Coast is much closer to, um, oh, what am I doing? The East Coast is much closer to the Azores than Turkey is, and uh, it's a triple junction. And uh, will that mean, does that mean that the pressure is going to hit and jolt this area and we'll have a quake there? Well, we did. That's our quake right there. And, you know, when you look at it distance wise, it's not that far from the Azores, as you can see. And uh, this, they usually, the earthquakes here usually stop around the shield of Hudson Bay. You get them around here and then they stop. And uh, we do have volcanoes here. We even have methane volcanoes here, just like they found. They found them recently, just like they found on the, on the west coast, on these cracks. And uh, this, of course, is the horseshoe-shaped mantle plume, it's like this. This is the uh, New Madrid seismic zone, the rift valley of New Madrid. There's another mid-continental rift valley here. Lake Superior used to be much closer to Yellowstone, which is around here. It used to be much closer to Yellowstone in Wyoming, but it's rifted. There's, a ma there's magma underneath here. This whole thing is magma underneath here. That's why we have kimberlite volcanoes in Kansas, and we have Oklahoma, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, 
uh, mantle plume, the mantle plume goes all the way down here. Okay, and the Kansas has the diamond spitting kimberlite volcanoes because there's magma under here. Now, a lot of people say, oh, what? There's plain, it's a plain. Why would we have one? Yes, it's a rift valley. It's rifting, it's cutting up, it's splitting. And this thing was here, one of the oldest um, magma plumes from a billion years ago. Uh, if you see the uh, past videos that we made on this, that's what we read together. But anyway, when was this, when did this come up? Oh, that was the day before, 3.3 .3 magnet, okay. So, see, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Um, I, don't, I don't go into the Canadian map every day. So, basically what we're saying is, what we're seeing is that uh, we had the Azores quakes, and we did have not just today's quake, but we had the other quake of, um, what was it? I just forgot it. The 3.3? 3.3. On the 30th of the month. Okay, this is just now, the quake swarm, and that is the 27th of the month. So yeah, it's it hits towards the east. It's sitting towards the east. It is hitting towards the east, and it's hitting around the area. This is closer to the area of the seamount. Just north of the seamount. Okay. Um, unfortunately, we don't have... Well, let's take that. Why not? That would give us the... Um, that is uh, in Maine. As we said, we have five volcanoes in Maine. Bay of Fundy. Five volcanoes in Maine. Basically, that's around the seamount area. Pre the pressure is pr pressuring that way. And uh, people in New England, geological extension southward through Long Island, all that there, have felt small earthquakes and suffering damage from infrequent larger ones since colonial times. Moderately damaging earthquakes strike somewhere in the region every few decades, as smaller earthquakes are felt roughly twice a year. The Boston area was damaged three times in within 28 years in the middle 1700s, and New York City was damaged 1737 and 1884. The largest known New England earthquakes occurred 1638, magnitude 6.5 in Vermont or New Hampshire, and in 1755, magnitude 5.8 offshore, from Cape Ann, northeast of Boston. The Cape Ann earthquake caused severe damage to the Boston waterfront. The most recent New England earthquake to cause moderate damage occurred in 1940, magnitude 5.6 in central New Hampshire. The faults, well, they can't find the faults. They can only find them because they're so old. They can only find them when uh, earthquakes occur. Earthquakes everywhere occur on faults within bedrock, miles deep, Although some New England earthquakes occur at shallower depths, most of New England's and Long Island's bedrock was assembled as continents collided to form a supercontinent 500 to 300 million years ago, raising North America, the northern Appalachian Mountains. The rest of the bedrock formed when the supercontinent rifted apart 200 million years ago. Well-studied plate boundaries like San Andreas in California offered scientists to determine the name of the fault responsible for the earthquake. In contrast, east of the Rockies, this is rarely the case, New England and Long Island are far from the nearest plate boundaries, which are at the center of the Atlantic Ocean and in the Caribbean Sea. And New England is laced with known faults, but numerous smaller or deeper buried faults remain undetected. Even the known faults are poorly located. Okay, so that's what the information, a little bit of the information. And, uh, Not only do we have faults, but we also have volcanoes. There's no words about volcanoes, but we do have volcanoes there as well. Uh, just because the, the coast is not on the tectonic boundary doesn't mean that it doesn't have volcanoes and faults right there as well. So that's what happened. 4.4 um, hmm, and 3.3. That uh, is not, thank goodness they're out in the ocean and they were not closer because of the fact that 
uh, these are felt 10 times more than they are felt on the West Coast because it's so soft there. I've told you many a time, my parents, I used to live in Montreal right there before moving to New York right there. And it's a seven hour uh, car ride. And um, they were architects and they were explaining to me why uh, they had to uh, build as many basements underground as the floors above ground because the sediment is so soft there. Otherwise the building would just topple over or sink into the ground. So you have to have as many, uh, let's say you have a five story building, you'd have to have five basements. You have a 10 story building, you have to have 10 basements. That's why almost every neighborhood in Montreal has a subway station, subway, yeah, subway station, because it's so soft that they, they can very easily have subway stations going to every neighborhood. And that's fantastic for people to use to go to work because the weather is so bad there in the winter. It's just unbelievably crazy bad. Um, uh, I don't miss the winter there <laughs> at all. All right, so um, that's why it's so soft. And the, the earthquakes there could be felt 10 times more than they could be felt on the West Coast. I'll leave a link below for you for, for this. And everyone there, please be careful. And on the West Coast, we've had a tremendous amount of activity today, um, as you can see right here. Okay. And the biggest one was 3.3, and there were a number of people who reported feeling this, 14 people. Okay. Sierra Nevada Mountains. Joachim Valley, near Fresno. So please be careful, both on the West Coast and the East. Thank you and God bless you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.